I told myself that I wasn't going to do vaccine stuff, mainly because there's already so much of it out there. But I thought this was just too interesting. It follows on from the one I did yesterday about prions. If you didn't see that, I'll put a quick link in the description box. It's only three minutes. Again, these are just science fiction theories. If you have been vaxxed, don't worry. But basically, the video yesterday was about how the vaccine could put prions in your brain. And when I made the video yesterday, I was thinking at the time that these prions would naturally activate before people would start going insane and eating each other. But then I thought that would be too risky because every, every person's different. The trigger rings would be too staggered. And then I thought about Neuralink, Musk's global 5G satellite array. Maybe they could use this to trigger those prions. This way, every vaxxed person will get activated at the same time. When I mentioned this to someone, they said, well, isn't that just the plot from Kingsman? And I thought, I haven't seen the movie for a while, but yeah, it absolutely is. Maybe even the ear implants are real. I couldn't find a picture of it, but in that movie, all the elites have got a scar, an ear implant scar. The good guys, they find a way to activate these ear implants and make all the bad guys' heads explode. Maybe that's the only fictional part of that movie, because in real life, all secret security services, they all work for them, not us. They're going to make it as hard as possible, maybe even impossible, for us to refuse it, this vaccination. They may even start locking up unvaxxed people, people that refuse it, as a security risk, as a health risk. But if or whenever they do activate this, it's not going to be like the zombies from films. They're going to be living, breathing zombies, not rising from the dead zombies. It's not going to be headshots only. They're going to have a heart and lungs. So if you start hearing more things about prions or CJD, it could just be predictive programming and in before. So maybe we're onto something in that case. And I'll also just quickly say that I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm not educated or informed enough to be making that decision. I just feel in my bones that something is off about this one. Again, sci-fi hypothetical. Thanks for watching.